Yo, 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 it's Games and Graphics, and we are back in the building with another Red Dead Redemption 2 mod tutorial. And today we are going to be installing the Rampage Trainer in UI, okay? Uh, we have installed the regular Rampage Trainer, but if you come to this download page, first of all, this is created by Rampage Dev. Shout out to the creators. Once you get down to this page, this download page for the Rampage Trainer, you want to come to this file tab right here where it says files, select files. And if you scroll down, you will see where it says Rampage in UI. That is the one that we want to download. All right. So you want to go ahead and select manual download. Now, as of requirements, we are going to need script hook RDR2 for this to work. And I will leave that link in the description. It will lead you to this website right here. Once you get here, you just want to select the download right here, the download button in order to download script hook RDR2. Now this is going to be the main requirement. After you have your requirement downloaded as well as your Rampage Trainer in UI, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have two downloads. The first one is Rampage in UI and the second one is script hook RDR2. And on my right hand side, I have my RDR2 directory opened up, my game directory opened up. I have uh, my requirements over here. Let's go ahead and open up the script hook RDR2 folder. Inside that folder is going to be another folder that says bin. Open up the bin folder. Now we are going to take these two files that I have highlighted. If you want a um, another trainer, for example, this is native trainer. You can go ahead and install this if you want as well. But take these two files that I have highlighted and drag and drop both of those two over to your Red Dead Redemption 2 game directory. I already have it as you can see. Once that has been dragged and dropped, let's go back to our downloads, press the back arrow, press the back arrow again. Now let's install the Rampage in UI. Open up the Rampage in UI folder. Inside that folder is going to be another Rampage in UI folder. Now we want to select the Rampage in UI.ASI file and also the Rampage files folder. So you want to take these two I have selected drag and drop both of these over to our Red Dead Redemption 2 game directory. I already have it as you can see. Once that has been installed, we are all good to go. Let's go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spawn in the game, what you want to do is press function key F5. Function key F5 is going to open up the Rampage in UI trainer. All right. If you read, it's going to have um, the same features, but it will lack a few features that the other regular menu will have as stated down on the download page. All right. But it pretty much has everything that you need inside of the menu. Inside player, you have uh, scenarios, animation, wardrobe, vision, effects, emotes, play speech. You have about 48 options inside of here. All right, God mode, never want it. Infinite stamina, swim, all different type of uh, options inside of the player. And then horse, you can load and save your horse. <clears throat> Excuse me, add a blip to your horse. Teleport to me, teleport to horse. Uh, retrieve horse, all different types of options. And weapons, you have about 36 options and weapons. And uh, vehicle, you have about 23 options. And uh, teleport. There's about uh, 54 options. You have preset places to teleport. And then spawner, you have about seven options inside here where you could spawn in vehicles, pits, objects, herbs. And uh, if we go down the world, you have about 24 options in here. You could adjust the time, weather, water, pit manager, a bunch of other stuff as well. And in miscellaneous, you have about 28 options in here where you could uh, go to the, the game music, control the game music, or watch some movies at the mobile theater, cutscene player, friend list, mini games. And if you go inside mini games, it has the Undead Nightmare 2. And you have overlay settings as well as some other settings as well in here. And um, you also have your character stats, where you could uh, check out your stats, go to the money, you can add money or remove money. Um, items, honor, bounty, unlocks, things of that type of nature. And last but not least, you have your settings. Inside the settings, you can search 
for uh, something if you can't find it. You could search for it right here. Go to core. Um, you could turn the gamepad controls on and off, the menu sounds, landing page, theme. You could change uh, the color of the theme if you like. Make it blue. Um, change, you know, the colors of the menu right here as well. All right. And then we can go back to language. You can change the language here. Hotkey manager where you could adjust the hotkeys to open up the trainer. Um, load and save your settings that you have made with the trainer right here as well. Navigation delay, value delay, open key and gamepad open key as well. Okay, so you could change how you open up the uh, menu right here as well. All right. So this is um, a pretty cool menu and everything. It's a different look from the normal right here, you know. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the tutorial right here. If this helped y'all out to install the Rampage NUI Trainer. Or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends that are in the modding Red Dead Redemption 2. This game's in graphics. I am out of here. Till next time.